Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for watching The Board Pirate. In this episode, I take you to Bonaire, where we find some of the most amazing sea glass in the world. Uh, it's a little bit dangerous on this one because we're going down cliffs, inside of caves, and into some pretty big waves. But it's well worth it with the amazing amount of stuff we find. In the very beginning, I'm in a cave, so it's a little bit dark. And then towards the end, I go underwater, so the audio goes out just a little bit. But uh, if you stay with me throughout the whole video, at the very end, you're going to see all my best finds from Bonaire that I'm going to show you, and all my marbles too. So stay with me. If you're wondering about Elsie, why she's not in this video, she had a little bit of the uh, pancreatitis and she had to go to the hospital for a few days. So she stayed back in the U.S. to rest up with her uh, grandparents, my parents, for a few weeks, and then I'm going to go up and get her very, very soon. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, follow, and uh, share this with all your friends. I really, really, really appreciate it. So this is the Board Pirate. And this is Bonaire. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Captain Kai, the Sea Glass Guy. Today, I'm gonna take you on some real extreme sea glass hunting adventures. First, we're gonna start off doing some caves here in Bonaire. We're gonna go inside of all kinds of tidal caves. Uh, they're filling with water. Bound to get a little hurt on this one. After that, uh, I'm gonna take you down to some of these beaches all around here that are full of some of the best sea glass you have ever seen in your life, I promise you. Tons of marbles everywhere. And then after that, we're gonna go underwater here and we're gonna find all kinds of marbles. First, I'm gonna show you what I found so far. So, let's get started. All right, here we go. Oh wow, look at that. Piece of bonfire right there on top. Oh yeah, look at this marble here too. That is awesome. Really good piece there. All right, and I'll show you what else I got here. Okay, you guys want to see what I got? Yeah. Everybody, this is Jill. Say hi, Jill. Hi. Everybody, it's April there, and we got Joe Lee as well. All right. Oh my God. Starting off, pretty big sea coin. Oh my gosh, that's great. Yeah. And you just got these right down here? Oh, all along the beach here. Okay. Look at this yellow Ooh. sea coin there. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Awesome, right? Yes. Right. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, All this stuff in my pocket here. You want to hold your hands out for me? I'll pour it in your hands. Oh, you got some stuff in there. There we go. Wow. Another Beautiful. marble there. Beautiful. A couple more yellow sea foams. That's just one pocket. Beautiful. All right. Here comes the next one. Wow. More sea coins, yeah. Yes. Big ones. A nice piece of bonfire, thick, thick. So what did you call this? Bonfire glass. That was uh, in a fire before it fell in the water. So if you hold it up to the sky, you'll see it's got all kinds of cracks, different colors and uh, stuff. And if you get the sun behind it, yeah. you're cool, right? Check weird. these out. Beautiful. More bonfire here. Oh, dropped a little piece of a stopper there. Some more sea coins. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Losing all kinds of stuff. And look at that, that one. Gorgeous. Right? Amazing. That's like a grayish, bluish purple. Beautiful. Huge piece there. Let's see what else we got. One more pocket full. And again, we've only been here for like, what, 15 minutes or so? Look at that red there. Beautiful. Another big yellow. So, yeah, so far, so good. Thank you so much. I'll hold my bag out and you guys can toss them in there. This is how I store my sea glass. Move the wall to the side and just toss it right in there. Awesome. Thank you guys. Oh, we dropped a few, huh? Finders keepers. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go on a this piece of paint chip there. I'm gonna go on a little sea glass adventure. I'll be back in a little while. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye, Jolie. You stay here, okay? Stay. I borrowed a uh, friend's dog, Jolie, there. Uh, Elsie's back at home with my folks in the U.S. She got a little bit of the pancreatitis, and uh, so she had to be in the hospital a few days, and I couldn't bring her on this trip, so I'm going to go back in a couple of weeks and get Elsie. But right now, you can see some amazing beaches. Still in touch today. Nobody's gotten through yet. Oh, look at that. Another nice little sea coin right there. 
I see in the back here we got, oh, yeah, some sea foams. Nice stuff. <laughs> I think I heard some of uh, my friends somewhere around here. Hey, what's up, dude? Nicely done, sir. Thank you. He brought a bucket and a rope so we can help our friend Heike. She's not able to get down here, afraid of the heights. So we're just gonna haul her up a couple of buckets of stuff to go through. That way she doesn't have to come all the way down here. It's uh, one of the toughest sea glass and beaches in the world to get to, I'll tell you. There's a nice red right there. Oh yeah, find some little blues and sea foams too. Cool. There is a ton of good stuff in this cave here. Wow, see some pink pottery back here too. Amazing. All right, let's keep moving it down. See what else we're able to find here. Yeah, this is the first piece of sharp glass I've seen at this beach. Yeah, it's a nice piece of sea steel here, sea metal. Often this is just old metal from the trash dump. It's been washing around for a long time. This cave's a little harder to get into here. Uh, but it's got some good stuff. Let's see, we got a lost soul here. All right. Just kind of digging up. You never know what's gonna pop out at you when you're digging like that. All right, gonna go down a little further here. You see there's just caves kind of everywhere here. It's really amazing. There's huge cliffs here of old fossilized uh, coral and they're pretty fragile. This stuff will break off and fall on your head pretty easily as you can see. So you gotta be careful that nothing falls down on you. Not that it's really up to you. And uh, here in these caves even, they can collapse very easily. So it's good to be cautious. Uh, always sea glass hunt with friends in case something happens to you they might be able to help you out wow you can see there's just amazing beautiful whites here everywhere absolutely incredible oh look at that there's an older sea coin there that's what i call them it's the bottoms of old uh bottle bottoms usually sometimes bottoms of candles and then every once in a while you get some glass furniture coasters. They actually used to sit the furniture on glass coasters instead of plastic ones to move them around. All right, ooh, look at this little green heart here. That's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, I got some honey amber here as well. Got a little honey amber heart there too. Still got a little bit of dog fur on my hands. And you can see it's kicking around pretty good in here. Um, and that's kind of good because there's not much of a tide here, so it's always just churning up new stuff. Now, there's a good cave in here, uh, but as you can see, there's some swampers coming through. I don't want to get my head cracked, but I don't know. There's a lot of marbles in there. And I think we might have to just chance it. You can see you get some big ones. I'm going to wait just one set and see how far the waves go up. See, this is a decent sized one. It looks like I might be okay. Oh, here comes a way bigger wave. All right, I think I'm all right. I can go in this cave here. Just hopefully nothing falls down and we don't get a rogue. Ah, oh, wave coming through. Uh, looking around, see what we can see. You never know where the marbles are gonna be at. Now, it's kind of tough to see in here because it's, it's pretty dark. And when the water comes up, it kind of blocks more of the light trying to look way up high there but uh not really seeing much from here it might just be a little too dark that's right i know some caves with skylights on them we'll be able to look in those kind of dig around a little bit you can reach into the caves and kind of pull stuff out into the light and that helps sometimes as well nothing too crazy just here I'm gonna keep going to take you guys to the best spot, especially for finding marbles. Now we just found one white marble there, but 
I prefer to find the glass ones, and obviously the bigger the better. Kind of looking up under this cave too. See a nice little heart-shaped piece there. We can reach up. Ooh, look at that. Nice yellow. Really love those true yellow colors. Those are awesome. Okay, ooh, multicolor. Look at that one. Sea foam and honey amber mixed together. That's a sweet one. A little perfect white there. See another multicolor piece. It's probably an old piece of bonfire, just really, really well worn down. Ah, and there's a clear marble right back there. Heck yeah. Look at that one, that's nice. Cool, it's got a little bubble in it too. That's a special marble there. Alright, what do we got back here? A little piece of uh, aqua. Definitely in the shape of a heart there, that's a cool one. Alright, keep moving on around here. See some more uh, sea metal here. Sea steel. Sea silver. Ooh, and look what we got. Another marble, heck yeah. That is awesome. We're killing it on the marbles today. We're gonna reach in here. See if we can't pull anything else out. Oh, look at that. A real old stopper. Took on the shape of an egg. Just perfect. Absolutely flawless. That's really cool. If you thought that cave was cool, that's just the beginning. We got a lot more caves coming up, and uh, some of them are way more interesting than that one. We're gonna have to do a little bit of rock climbing, and uh, it requires a good pair of shoes, but I don't happen to have one with me. So we're just gonna wing it. I got a lot of cuts on my feet, so what's a few more? I always say if you're not bleeding, you're not adventuring hard enough. But you can see by the rock walls here that this is some sharp, sharp, jagged stuff. All of it. So it does take a number on your dogs, but uh, doing all right. When you're treasure hunting, it's hard to feel pain. Not really focused on that. So we're at another really nice big beach here. And oftentimes I can just stand in one place and find marbles right at my feet. They'll just wash up. So taking a look for something like that now. Uh, marbles here are particularly small. They're really, really, really well worn. So, uh, Oftentimes, what happens is they get pretty small and they're kind of tough to see uh, compared to the bigger marbles. So you gotta, gotta move stuff around. There's a nice color of green there. And you gotta do a little bit of digging. Sometimes it helps to look where the sunshine is at. Uh, you can see the brighter colors underwater more easily that way. Nothing in there. But uh, you gotta be really quick. Sometimes you just get one chance to grab one of these marbles and then it washes away forever. So eyes are open and I'm looking and just waiting to see one of those flashes of color. And if I don't see anything here, you can always just dig, which I like to do as well. All right, let's do a little bit of digging and then we'll just glance behind us every once in a while, see if anything new has turned up. Pulling loads of it at a time. Now I'm obviously not seeing every single piece I pull down, but I'm seeing a majority and bright colors will pop right out at me. So usually what gets picked up first by everybody is the blues. So you don't see as many big pieces of that around here. Um, but marbles, because they are smaller and harder to find, typically a lot. Just amazing, amazing amount of sea glass. If you look close up, I mean, it's just all beautiful mermaid tears in here. Really something special. We'll get in this cave a little more. Let's see what there is to see around here. Just kind of doing a scan of the surface. And don't forget, at the end of this, I'm gonna show you everything I found. And then uh, what we're also gonna do is do a little snorkel underwater and see if I can find some stuff out there. 
it's pretty rough out there, but uh, I hope you'll be all right. I got enough friends here to save me if necessary. Kind of surprised I'm not finding more marbles, but you know, as soon as you turn on a video camera, it always gets a little harder to see them, I think. But they just become a little harder to find. Oh, wow, just amazing glass here. I'm sure uh, most folks would love just to have a scoop of any of this. But uh, luckily because I'm here, I get to be pretty picky. I'm uh, quite spoiled, you might say, as far as the sea glass I get to bruise through. Oh, wow, nice pieces, just a little uh, blue mermaid tears, but they're nothing too impressive. I want to get out of here and show you guys something really cool. So, let's take one more look around in the water, and then I'm going to go for a hike. See if we can find some really good stuff. Check this out. That is a nice, nice piece of sea steel. And I'm still checking down on the water, just looking for any marbles anywhere. But also for stoppers, toppers, oranges, reds. But mostly for marbles like that one. Just rolling around. And look, another piece of sea steel. That's a cool one. So right on, doing pretty good. Just gonna check the screen, make sure there's no water on the lens. We're good to go. I'm gonna put this back in my head. We're gonna go for a little bit of a hike. Um, show you one more cave right here real quick, see if there's anything in there. Have pretty good luck finding sea coins around here sometimes. You gotta look back in these crevices as well. And well, it could be a little bit scary. You just gotta reach your hand back into these things and see what comes out. Hopefully you don't pull out an eel or a sea snake or something along those lines. This particular cave has a real nice skylight to it. Uh, but you can see it's just a big rock poached right over top of me. It could fall at any minute. Uh, so you want to not stay in here too long. It's always a little bit risky. Uh, rocks tend to fall here pretty often. Let's see what we got back here. Thought I saw a sea coin. Oh yeah, sure did. That's a nice one. Not perfect, not flawless, but worth coming back in here to get. For sure. We'll just scrape around the surface a little bit. Ah, see if there's anything good. Ooh. Yeah, look at that one there. That's nice too. So some pretty good stuff in here. But not as good as I promised. I still got a better place to take you kick down a few more of these and then we'll roll out that way. Ooh, a little piece of opalescent pink. That's real nice too. Oh, there's a piece of a marble right there. Nice blue and a red one. Heck yeah. Nice piece of bonfire there too. Red. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful jewelry grade piece of gray there and some more bonfire. Never get enough of these seafoam jewels either. They're just really nice. All right. Not seeing any marbles just here. So I'm gonna climb up this cliff. Here we go. Now, I said I didn't have any good shoes, but I do have this raggedy piece of, or a pair of flip-flops. So we're gonna try those out. And my feet are a little bit muddy and wet, so they might get slippy. But for treasure, it's worth it. Uh, typically, not good to rock climb on this stuff because it is so fragile. And it could break right beneath you. And then you'll fall and you'll definitely bleed. This stuff is sharp. Wow, all right. Let's do a little bit of rock hopping here. Up and over. And you can see all this is made of old fossilized coral and shells. It's really neat. Uh, but as the water hits it, it really sharpens it up. So down here, you cannot walk without some kind of shoes. It's literally will grate your feet into oblivion. It is super duper sharp. Uh, Especially, like I said, where the water's going over. Maybe not right here, but you see down there, all those little tips 
on it. They're sharp as nails. All right, now this is a nice little cave. Get some big waves going up in it, but I think it'll be worth hopping down here and trying to check it out. Sometimes you can look from above and see the big pieces rolling around, especially colors like blue and red. They're just a little easier to see than most. Yeah. You guys know I used to live in a cave, so I'm not too afraid of them. I do like going uh, sea glass hunting in caves for sure. And this is definitely a really good example of how you do it. But uh, it can get a little darker, so sometimes it's good to bring a flashlight. I forgot mine, it's in my backpack. A little stuff here. Not seeing anything that's really grabbed my eye. Now I could crawl through there. Oh, I see red. I don't want to get any water on the lens. Then you guys won't be able to see. Dang, it's, it's all red in there, but I'm pretty sure it's gone now. And it's crazy. This stuff's just like a, it's like a washing machine in here. Good way to clean up. All right, let's try going up and over here. All right. Woo. You see, there's some more little caves down here, but look how sharp this is. If you land on this, as you slip, it's gonna ruin your day every time. All right, now let's see what we can see from the surface. There's a little more light when you're outside the cave. And maybe we can just pounce down on something. Keep my eyes peeled here. A lot of good sea glass in here. Oh, look, there's a cave back there, too. We'll wait for this water to come out and I'll try to crawl in there. All right, made it. Oh, all right. Water feels good today. Wow, look how big these whites are. It's just crazy. Man, I really want to find a nice big shooter marble or some of those more uh, colored sea coins. Those are super cool. Now, there's obviously tons of little pieces in here, but I'm going for the big ones. Wow, just so incredibly sharp. Really fragile. If this stuff breaks underneath you too, totally screwed. Like I said, a pair of hiking boots or some hiking shoes would be preferred for sure in a place like this. Right. Now I should be able to get down into this cave here that we could see from the other side. Just doing a quick scan over there in case there's any big colors, big reds, big blues, big yellows. You could spot them from pretty far away. Oh yeah, look at this. Hey Cave, what you got for us? Such big white pieces. That's kind of a heart shape almost, huh? Hey, Cave Marbles. Love it, look at that. Now, that's a good Cave Marble right there, a little blue bear. Didn't come in here for nothing. Ooh, and then off to the side here, see a beautiful giant sea foam jewel. That's real nice. These gems are just amazing. But uh, it's pretty dark in this one. Kind of tough to see. Wow, tough to hear too. It's loud. Oh, what's that? It's a nice yellow, greens. Some really good bobble sizes and shapes. Can't even tell what color that one was. Hoping that a big rogue wave doesn't come up and sweep me up into this cave. Oh, definitely should have brought a flashlight with me. Instead, I'm just gonna have to pull it out. Another good piece of sea metal there. Wow, oh, the sea glass here in Bonaire is just incredible. It's seriously the best sea glass in, uh, in the world right now. You could show me better videos than this beach. Well, I'll be setting sail there <laughs> quick as I can. Wow, look at that one. Just incredible 
incredible pieces here. Really big and just completely flawless. Oh. See some more sea steel right here on the top. Just gonna check my lens one more time. All right, nothing too bad on there. Whew. Working up a sweat in the cave. I hope you guys can still see me all right. Um, we're gonna keep going. A few more caves to go through. I'm gonna take you back, show you what I got. We're gonna do snorkeling. You find a lot of marbles underwater here, but it's pretty rough. So let's keep going. See. Big cave here. Uh, tight entrance though. What do we got? What do we got? Woo! That was a cold one, but look what we found! Wow! That is a good sized purple right there. Amazing. That is Woo! I'm wet now. Look at that, I got a little bit of turquoise here too. Right on. The sea foam, I'm gonna pull this cave out, see what we can find in there. Ooh, look at that. Nice big yellow. Really thick glass here of all different colors, all different shapes. All different sizes. You see some big waves outside of this cave here. And luckily these giant pieces of uh, coral are kind of blocking and protecting me in the sea glass. Woo! That water feels good. Now this bigger size stuff, bigger size coral, so you're gonna find bigger size pieces. Look at that, big red. Right on, a little bit of opalescent in here as well. Heck yeah, this is a nice little honey hole, y'all. Wow, look at these huge teals and sea coins. Sea coins. And I'm literally buried in sea glass now, my whole body. And look, there's another marble. Woo! Cave marbles! <laughs> oh man, feels good to be a caveman. If you guys haven't done it yet, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click that like button. Give me that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you could share this with your friends. Anybody you think might like to see what I'm doing. And I'd appreciate that too. As you know, we're sailing around the entire world, finding all the best sea glass there is to find. And we're sharing our spots with you as we go everywhere. Look at all these bobbles, just amazing. So be sure to stay tuned as we go all the way around the world, checking out tons and tons of amazing places just like this, undiscovered by other folks. Now this beach in particular, I'd gotten some tips on where it was somewhat, but I actually had to use a sailboat and a drone fly around here and find it. Woo. Look at that. Little piece of a stopper there. Now let me check the camera. Make sure we don't have too much water on the lens. I think, I think we're all right for now. Well, there's some water on the lens for you. So, finding some really incredible pieces in this cave here. Um, gonna move on just a little bit further and then we're gonna go back and get the snorkeling. But wow, look at those beautiful, beautiful pieces. Some of every color just about. That is rad. All right, so, slipping all that stuff into my pocket and we just gotta hope it doesn't fall out. You can see I got a good sized bulb in that pocket right now. Now, let's see if we can Maybe sneak through this cave here. See if there's anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's too much. All right, I'm gonna turn it around. We're gonna go back, grab my goggles, and we're going underwater. Let's see how quickly we can make it back without dying. I do apologize for the water on the lens. 
But as soon as we go underwater, that'll be gone. And uh, I'll be underwater before you know it. All right. What is that? Ho oh, ho! Yes! Look at that, that is glass. Just did the teeth test. How cool is that? Old keychain there. Right on. You just never know what you'll find. Old Pepsi Cola. Score. All right. Now last time we went under the cave, this time let's go over. Beautiful spot here. See the waves are really kicking right now. As long as I don't get swept off this rock, it should be all right. Well, there are some monsters coming through here. It'll be hard to swim in this particular area. I think maybe back where all my friends are might be a little bit easier. So just a quick hop, skip and a jump, and we'll be back over there. Faster than you thought, huh? So this has been a pretty good cave adventure so far. Again, we're about to go underwater and uh, see what we can find. It's kind of fun doing it underwater because things look a little bit bigger. All right, just a quick scan for any marbles on the surface here. And you never know what'll pop up when you're gone for five minutes. Absolutely crazy. Not seeing nothing, so we're just gonna hurry on up and get over to my goggles, and I'll get us in the water as soon as I can. I think some of my other friends just arrived here. So I'll show them what we found, and I'll wipe off this lens so you guys can see better. Woo! Getting swamped in here. All right. Wow, that was pretty fun going in those caves. How we doing, April? Find anything good? Good bit of marbles. Is your shirt dry? Not really, but Can I use the back of it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's what friends are for. <laughs> oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah. Eh, one I'm more time. Trying to find some stuff for hike. So. That's nice, yeah. yeah. All right. That should do for now. I'm sorry, I know it's a little bit still blurry, everybody. We're gonna get moving. Find some more sea glass. Underwater. First, I'm gonna empty out this pocket real quick, though. That way I don't uh, drown. Look what we got there. Another marble. All right. Howdy. How's it going? Yeah? Find us some good stuff? Find us some good stuff? I think it's good stuff. Heck yeah. <laughs> what do I know? But I know. <laughs> All right, so there's what we found before. Let's pull out the stuff we just found in the caves. What do you think, Jolie? Oh, got a piece there. All right, so some big pieces of sea metal. Oh, wow. Really oh, big bobbles. Look at that purple there. Yeah, a little Pepsi uh, keychain. <laughs> Glass. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. I got pockets full right now. A couple more marbles, some more of that sea metal. So when does sea metal come off of just Oh, when metal? they burn the glass, the uh, soda cans, the old tin cans and aluminum cans would melt uh -huh. in a pile, like a little puddle, basically, underneath on the sand. And then uh, that would get washed in the ocean. They just rub around and become real smooth. So wait, so they're, so they had a start all over again? When they burn the glass, they used to burn so, all the trash to get out the organic material. And when they do that, uh, all the glass and the metal would be in there with it. The aluminum cans would melt and puddle up underneath the fire. Okay. And uh, that so is where like it comes from. Here. That's how they would get rid of the trash and then it would just walk Burn it, away. push it off the cliff. Crazy, right? All right, guys, I promised you we'd go on the water. And now we're doing it. Now hopefully I won't lose my GoPro on this one. 
tell you what, I'm just gonna hand it. So, give me just one sec. watch my head, I don't want to get crushed. But we're going under the water now, so it's going to be radio silence for me. Woo, here goes a big one. Woo, got one. Oh shit. You see it's kind of rough in here. But it's all worth it for treasure. Walk around. <laughs> cool. Not sure if it's a good idea or not. I'm gonna try to go out here. Just you gotta be careful because if you hit your head on something like the size of this rock and coral, you are done. So, you gotta be careful I don't get thrown into one of those by one of these big, big waves. But it's gonna be tough. Just kinda wait to see the stuff. corner right there. Heck yeah. I think I saw some blue. makes it tough. But we don't even have to go in the water. As you can see there's just two glass literally everywhere here. It's just crazy. So as promised, here's a little show of some of my best finds from my trip to Bonaire. Now most of this glass you're seeing is from Curacao. That's all that crafty looking stuff in the background. I've been sorting it out for a few days. What you're seeing over here and here is all my brand new Bonaire stuff that I just came and found. Uh, while I was there for one week, believe it or not, I found this many marbles. Haven't even counted them yet, but look how many different kinds. Uh, a lot of one of the kinds that I'd never ever seen before, like this orange and yellow one there. 
Um, but lots of little bitty ones too. You can see how small these marbles are compared to a, a regular size marble. So if I bring out a regular size marble, like this one, and if you look at that compared to most of the other marbles in there, it's pretty big, good size. Um, these little ones are so, so tiny. They've just been really, really well worn. So lots of good marbles there. But then my favorite things to find are, of course, the sequins. Now, sequin is any flawless, perfect circle of glass. Like this one here. You can see how there's no chips. It's just completely well worn. Um, this one's got a little bit of an edge to it, but it's still so frosty that it doesn't matter. Amazing, but it has to be a perfect circle for it to be a sequin, and this one certainly is. I'll show you some other ones in different colors. Now, uh, this one's close to a sequin, really just a nice big bobble. But you can see it's not, not a perfect circle, but still, wow, just incredible. This is kind of a beige's gray. I'll show you when it's wet. It looks a little bit different there, almost a greenish gray there. Let's keep going. Uh, this is a beautiful sequin, maybe the best one I found while I was there. I don't know if you can tell, but that is a yellow. We're going to get that one wet as well. Look at that, just absolutely brilliant. Crazy, right? And that's a big, big piece. All right, show you what else we got. Some really large honey ambers here. Uh, another one of these uh, sequins, we see this one's more of like a gray blue. If you get that one wet, you can see the difference there. Such a striking color. Really cool to find perfect circles. Um, and then this is probably the biggest one I found. You can see how thick that is. Now I'll show you the backside, it's a little chippy. Uh, but this is a blue gray. And just absolutely stunning how amazing that color is there. It's kind of hard to pick up the blue on the camera, but it's a really, really good piece, I can assure you. Um, here's kind of a bigger teal piece here, it looks like a heart. That's a nice one. A couple little roses, I think I found two. Maybe even three of these rose pieces. You can see how well worn they get in Bonaire. Really crazy. And uh, even some of these bluish purple pieces as well. Look at that. Just incredible. Uh, found some stoppers there. Found, hey, look at this one. It's a guy on his houseboat. That's pretty cool, huh? So there's some more yellows here, some more blues. I got a little domino. And look at this amberina here. Just absolutely incredible. So well worn. Uh, definitely one of the best pieces I found while I was there. It's a really, really nice orangish red there and that definitely glows in the UV light. Now I got some cherry red as well. You can kind of see the difference there. And that one, that's real nice. And a few other colors as well, including this big, big, perfect blue really really nice so thank you guys for joining me uh, i am back in curacao now and i'm uh, getting some stuff going on my boat that's why my hands look the way they do at the moment i've been working pretty hard uh, but boat is back in the water we got our mast on we're getting fuel today we're getting the engines going we're getting a new battery set today and uh, we should be ready to rock and roll out on the big ocean very very shortly so excited about that um, i will post some more sea glass for sale on my facebook page facebook.com slash suns out tongues out but uh be sure to like and subscribe to this the board pirate if you guys can and i'll be showing you all kinds of crazy cool pieces of sea glass as i sail around the entire world hunting for the best pieces in the world so until further ado please like and subscribe love you guys be good to one each other and happy hunting